Who knows our lands? Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. Meow. My name is Tanya, and today we are discussing the Gemini full moon eclipse, video number two of a multi videoed series. Today's topic, specifically, might you ask, is discussing the deeper meaning of Gemini. The twins, are you the evil, maniacal genius? or the visionary solutionary who always has just the right answer. In this video, we explore the multifaceted, complex nature of Gemini energy in the context of the eclipse. And of course, if you have Gemini energy, whether that's your sun, your moon, your rising, or any significant placement in your chart, and you just want to learn more about Gemini energy, this video could totally be for you as well. Now, before we jump on in, make sure you like it. And if you enjoy it, comment. If you're new here, subscribe. I invite you. We do put out content regularly, and this is a great place to learn astrology, which brings me to the last announcement, which is if you are a nerd, like I am a nerd, and you like my nerdiness and how I explain things to you, and you want to turn astrology into your own business and understand it and know how to craft it to your unique skills, gifts, and all sorts of amazing plans. My business partner and I, Trinetti, are very excited to be launching a year-long container just for you. Yeah. And this is going to be meeting live every single week. So those of you who are hardcore serious and you are committed, baby, check out that application down below. We also did an extended video that you can check out as well. So jumping right on into it. Here we go. So here is the chart for the Gemini energy. And with that said, Gemini always has two sides. So you have the North node over here, right? in the sign of Gemini and you have the moon. So this is what makes it an eclipse. We talked about that in the first vid and I've done several videos on this channel at this point discussing the eclipse. Now, the whole thing though about Gemini is that you have duality more than any other sign. And you might be sitting there like, how? How? But the reality is every sign has a duality, Tanya. And I'm like, yeah, I agree with you. However, this particular sign, Gemini, is literally the sign of duality. So this sign is going to bring you the most and the least, the best and the worst, okay, all in one. And so it is this sort of like multifaceted, like if you know a Gemini, they got at least two sides, you know what I'm saying, type of energy. However, because it's an eclipse and because it's with the North Node, it's bringing in more of this Gemini energy. And because this is the last full moon of 2020, it's kind of kicking Gemini ass out the door because not only is it the last full moon of 2020, it's the last full moon of the nodes being in Sagittarius and Gemini for years and years and years. You know what I'm saying? So just think about it like this you're not going to have much more Gemini energy past the next six months, because that's how long this eclipse is going to be in full force for. Okay. So let's dive into this more though. The high vibration starting there, the high vibration of Gemini, deeply skillful energy coming your next six months. Maybe you're fated to take a program of some sort where you're learning practical hands-on skills, okay? Or things involving sets of two. You could also be doing things in that way because Gemini is the twins. Hands, the twins, pairs of things, sets of things, right? These are things that could be taking a special interest in your mind over the next six months and what you're doing in the world. Another thing in the high vibration is solution and practical ones at that. If you have a problem that you haven't been able to figure out, this could very well be the window of time where you either come up with a skill and you, uh, you know, this awareness, this emotional GPS I talked about in the last video guides you to learning a specific skill set that you needed in order to accomplish something you wanted to accomplish. And maybe over the next six months, you embark on that journey, right? To gain said skill. Because again, Moon, material, right? Gemini, practical, thinking, solutionary, right? Skillful. 
Another option with Gemini is that you're not only gaining skill and solving things, but you meet a new person, a new friend, a new neighbor, a new person in your local community who's going to have a positive influence in your life or somehow was karmically fated to show up and do something or have some type of engagement with, right? That is another possibility under the next six months, something coming to emphasis within your community at like a higher level than it would have. And specifically community meaning your localized community, your local block. Why do I say that? Because Gemini, that's what it is. It's the local hood, okay? So you could have something as well in high vibration, brand spanking new, a kick-ass opportunity come up through a sibling, okay? If it's not a neighbor or a new local friend, it could be a sibling that's coming in and really bringing you some divine, amazing, yummy, yum, yum. Now on a sexy level, because I know y'all want to know what's going on with that, because y'all always want to know what's going on with the sexy stuff. This is Gemini, okay? Gemini is horny. Gemini is like um, brainy horny. So they're into brains and they're into kinky stuff and they're into like mental exploration and they're into hands, everything hands. And they're just, you know, pretty horny people to be frank with you. Not, no judgment, fucking a, no judgment. I'm just saying that's what it is. So with that said, you know, you got this situation with the Gemini eclipse, you might be finding you're a little more multifaceted, you know what I'm saying? In your love interest than you previously have been, um, you know, before the six month cycle, you might find you're open to some new experimentation with an existing partner, or maybe you're like, Hey, I'm going to get multi-partnered with it in some capacity, but you know what? Don't be lying and go behind people's backs and fucking people over like that. Cause karma will come back around and bite you hardcore in the ass. You know what I'm saying? That's just real Scorpio talk. Digression aside, Gemini energy people, who is all of us for the next six months with this eclipse energy, pay attention to where your mind and your mental curiosities bring you the next six months. That is how the force can be with you with Gemini energy, because mental curiosity, mental exploration, okay, that is the summary of Gemini energy. Now, I told you I'd talk about the low vibration. That was the high, okay? The low vibration of Gemini, lying, cheating, stealing, manipulating, acting one way, then flipping another, thinking and projecting one image and then all of a sudden you yourself Gemini decide oh shit I'm another you don't even know what you are inside of you until you know in the moment and it's that fluid you know what I'm saying that's the infuriating thing to fix signs about Gemini energy fix signs look at Gemini energy and they're like you are so fucking annoying because I can't pin you down I can't understand you you are one way one moment and then you go and switch the next that is so fucking irritating. You feel me to a fixed sign. You can tell I got a lot of fixed energy in my chart because it's mutable and it's air. So y'all are trying to play like mental games in a low vibration or Gemini energy. So just watch out for these same people I'd be talking about. The neighbors, the friends, the siblings, okay? The multiple lovers, whatever, this Gemini energy. Watch out y'all for both the high and the low vibration of that, you feel? Because on the, on the flip side, it's the trick side, okay? When it comes to Gemini. Gemini. Gemini is the ultimate trickster. And that can be for better because sometimes, you know, a just hero needs a trick. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes a just hero needs a trick up their sleeve, but other times, and I would say more often than not, when it comes to the low vibration, of course, of Gemini, it's manipulation. The game all day is manipulation and it's just for worse, you feel. So don't become a mental fool. And because the moon is up in here in the late degrees of Gemini, you, my friend, I, my friend, everybody, okay, for the next six months is being called late degrees of Gemini, ladies and gentlemen, go into your master craftsperson, whatever that is to you. What is your inner master craftsperson good at? Everybody got a little something, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got a little light or a little gift. And with that said, what is yours? Over the next six months, this eclipse energy, concluding thought, everybody, for better and worse, is asking you to be real with yourself. Where is my skill? Where is my craft? And how can I lean into that and embody that moon, 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 materiality keyword, 
lean into that, okay, in order to manifest things, okay, for me that are divine and faded. And the more we put ourselves in alignment, ladies and gentlemen, with the divine fates, okay, with the force of the universe, the more we allow in the good to come our way, and the less we fight with forces uh, to go against them, right? So with that said, I hope you do enjoy this Gemini eclipse energy over the next six months. Make sure you like this video if you haven't already. And as always, subscribe if you're new here. Last but not least, Wisdom Drops Astrology School is enrolling. Last reminder for this video and applications are down below. You can see the extended interview with Trinetti and I by clicking somewhere around here on this channel. And with that said, through next time, until next time, may the stars be with you. Peace.